What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School of Marine. And as you can tell, we had a great day of diving. Got a huge line fish here. Actually got another one here. We're gonna grill these up tonight. And there's several different ways that you can do line fish. I got me a little buddy right here. I think he's wanting some, some fish. You want some fish, little buddy? <laughs> but uh, there's several ways you can, of course, flay these out, fry them up. We're actually gonna grill them straight on the grill. Um, but what I wanted to show you here, if you ever deal with line fish, if you'll look at their spines, this part right here, that's what you got to be careful of, is that spine right there. A lot of people think that the fish itself is poisonous or has a lot of venom, and it's not the fish, but it's the actual spines of the fish. And the, the sac, the venom sac, is actually just right here at the tip. So you can actually touch the spines and nothing happens. But if you come out here to the tip and touch, what happens is that venom will get injected into you. And actually, you can see a little bit dripping out of that one right there so there's a little bit of that venom there but what we're going to do just to make it safe for us is we're going to cut off the side fins here we're going to cut the dorsal fins off and even here on the bottom we're going to cut these because they too also have them little spikes on it i'm going to show you just how easy that is to do i'm not even going to use a knife to do it i'm going to cheat and of course i'm going to use a pair of scissors and ideally you can either work all the way up from the front or all the way here in the back i'm just going to start in the front and start cutting down You just go all the way down to the tail. Now these bottom ones are not that big a deal, but now that we've got those spines cut off, that's where all that venom is, is right here on the tip of the spine. I'll see if I can get it picked up here for you. You can clearly see the edge of that spine right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing here on the side. Just gonna cut them off. And of course, we'll just get rid of them over the side here. And it makes it a lot safer when if you are trying to flay it out or you're going to cook your fish or whatnot, go ahead and get rid of those spines right there. And you shouldn't have any problems. Because like I said, the fish itself is not venomous. It's just the spines and the ends and on the top of the fish. Of course, it helps if you got a sharp pair of scissors. Get rid of that there. And of course, I'm going to cut these bottoms off as well. Just being careful not to get it with my fingers. And we'll flip him over and do the other one. And that fish right there, completely de-venomized, if you will. Now I'm just going to gut him out real quick. We're going to throw him on the grill. We're going to be eating real good. So let me get this other one finished up. We're going to do some really good eating tonight, guys. If you like this video, simply hit that like button for me. If you will, do me another favor. Simply share this video with me or with your friends. And down in the comment section below, let me know your favorite way to cook a line fish. Do you like it grilled? Do you like it fried? Do you batter it? Uh, we're just going to grill him up tonight. we got about six of us that's going to eat. We're going to grill up some burgers as well. But, guys, that's it. That's all you got to do. Simply cut off the fins and no more venom. You don't have to worry about getting stuck or anything like that. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.